This is um, PEX insulation or PEX piping that I use to um, run into a soffit. And I was going to say that the why this is laying here and not up in the walls is um, a thing I didn't think would happen. But basically, this PEX um, I've had it for probably four months up inside this um, soffit. I don't know if you can see it. Now there's a co two copper lines here, and they run all the way back to the water heater, all the way around, and they run all the way back up here. And I had about four months, and that plastic, um, because this run is so long, this is about um, it's like 35 feet um, of lineal feet. So, um, and it was great, easy to install. Love it, you know, no problems. It was, you know, install is terrific, but the problem was is the taste. And uh, I tried and I tried and I ran the water and I'd run it, you know, all the time. It didn't really matter. Um, in the problem with this 35 foot run is that the water would sit in here, you know, because you really only use open up the faucet, get a cup, close it, and I could not, it could not uh, get rid of the plastic taste. And it's only in this run we have you know, a bathroom in the unfinished area, um, and I, and that's a short run that's, you know, maybe like 10 feet at most, and no problem. But this, it sat here, um, it, it was up in the soffit, and I finally decided I had to undo what I, what I originally did, which was replace the copper, which ran um, flush mount all the way against the wall here, well, you know, I was smart, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, I'll just run them in the soffit. And when I ran them in the soffit, everything was great. Plasticky taste, you know, uh, for the first, if you let the water run for about a minute, no problem. But if without that, you could you could taste it. And and I thought maybe it would pass, and I'd let it run for a while and clear it out. You know, maybe it was something in there, nothing. Called Shark Bite, which is a, uh, the company that owns Shark Bite is called Cash Acme. Uh, they had no help. They opened the case, but you know what are they going to do? They're just same thing. They never heard of it before. And I've looked all over the internet. People say the taste goes away, but when it lays horizontal like this, it didn't go away. Um, and it's only in these long runs. And I've had other people taste the water, you know, and say, hey, what do you think? And they all confirm that it's it definitely had a plasticky taste, and it wouldn't go away. So. I don't know. Went back to Home Depot, got the um, blue pipe. The um, it's the heart, the thicker wall copper. I think it's type L. Yeah, type L. That's what it is. And um, um, there we go. There's a friggin' light. They're perfect. Anyway, this is like fifteen dollars a length. But then I just got little shark bite couplers because it's so easy. Just use the existing um, talons to hold them in. Then came back, got like three packages of half-inch insulation pipe wrap, and wrapped the hotline only, and then just brought them up. So there's 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 one. It kicks over and goes right there. There's a cold line and there's a hot line. I use the existing three-quarter inch line, three-quarter inch uh, shark bite, and um, yeah, hopefully now I don't have any taste problems, but for those people out here who, I don't know, affects, it works everywhere else, but not when it was over this this long range and laying flat all the time. I don't know if anyone else has a problem, but they can let me know in the comments, and uh, hopefully this helps.